Hi and welcome to Homoly Dance, the channel history and board games. And for once, we were not really that late. Uh, that's mostly thanks to Matilda because I was starting to get on a rant uh, just before uh, the stream started. So you can you can thanks Matilda for for that. And yeah, a bit of a surprise stream. Uh, we said that we were going to do part two of pack spinning. And here we are doing part two of uh, pack spinning. It's just that I forgot to announce it and make a thumbnail for it. So I just put part two on the <laughs> thumbnail from uh, the last time. And I think that's good enough. Uh, that's probably great. And we have the same crowd. We have uh, David Masnato. Thanks again for being here, the graphic designer behind pack spinning. We have obviously Dan, Dan Turo, uh, with whom I want to play all of the games in the pack series. Uh, and if you don't know Dan, he has the best blog on gaming out there, uh, Space Biff, so uh, definitely check it out. And Matilda, the designer of Pack Spinning. It's really great to have all of you again. It's awesome that we're going to finish this game. Even if I must say, I'm a bit salty uh, from last time. I feel like you've all ganged up against me, and I think that I hope that I'm going to get some form of revenge, or if I don't, I think I'm going to go for the we all die or we all, all lose strategy. That's what I'm going to go for. <laughs> so, but yeah, happy Easter to uh, everyone. Uh, it's really exciting to have uh, some people in the stream, even though we didn't promote it ahead of time, so that's good. Maybe some more people we've come over afterwards uh and yeah it's uh it's going uh, pretty great maybe before we start playing i'm just gonna have a, a quick check-in with uh each of you uh what's up uh david what are you uh working on right now yeah i mean so uh, in in terms of um pax penning uh projects and updates um there were a few things that came up you know when we were playing last time and um uh, I, I kind of noticed while we were playing and, you know, I, I think Dan had a few ideas about some some updates and things. So I've been working on some changes to the mod yeah. um, that'll just that are some like small quality of life improvements that'll make it a little easier to play. Um, and Matilda and I are going to work on getting that in a sort of public state on uh, screen top soon. Um, so that's, you know, in terms of PAX penning stuff, um, that's what I've been up to. And then in terms of my own design things, um, got back from Unpub a few uh, weeks ago. It's for folks who aren't familiar with that. It's a um, game design convention that happens once a year and uh, outside of Baltimore, Maryland. And um, you just spend the weekend play testing games and getting feedback and um working on a, a game I'm working on now, which is very different from the type of things <laughs> folks uh, interested in this channel and designing games here make. Um, it's a little game about making cakes, little teeny tiny cakes. Sounds sounds uh, right up my alley. Aren't, you know? aren't they very like physical wooden stackable tiles? Yeah, they're like... A, yeah, there's like a little like you know little toy. And, um, and and just to be clear, one of my most expected game of 2024 is Fromage, uh, the the game about mm -hmm. cheese. Uh, and I think that even if it's not the line of the channel, I will still feature it on the show, uh, and I will probably go on a rant about uh, cheese for quite a while and <laughs> while playing it. So 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 we can be open. Uh, so a cake building game sounds uh, pretty amazing to me. Uh, cool. Yeah, and this is Unpump convention. I wasn't aware of it. Sounds pretty interesting. I'm not sure it's we have something similar in Europe, but that's uh, yeah. that sounds pretty cool. I don't think we do. We should. <laughs> you absolutely <laughs> should. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's good to know. Uh, and you, Dan, what's uh, what's up? Uh-oh. Uh, I only thought you were going to ask the real creative people that question. <laughs> um, oh, no. <laughs> um, this, it's super boring. I'm just, I'm preparing in my April Fool's article. That's it. <laughs> that doesn't sound super boring. That sounds super fun. Well, yeah, and I'm kind of spilling the beans, but I, you know, the only consolation is that your show has so few viewers. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you, so you, you, that's the thing, and this is usually why people say everything on the on the on the show is that they know that there is no consequences. Yeah, it, it's just wonder. I can be as as I can, I can be like commenting on Pax Penning and be like, I disagreed with that political comment about yes. fascism. <laughs> how bad it is you know so so yeah so i think this year what i'm gonna do is you know we've had so much online media die this year because of venture capital that i think i think i think what i'm doing is um i'm gonna sell my site 
for April Fools. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> to, to venture capital. And so now, so, so yeah. So, so now basically we are about um oh yeah, that, that pile of games is absolutely precarious. Yeah, it's uh, actually a bit disturbing. Uh it feels like it's really on the verge of something. Yeah, that's my that's my leaning tower of games. It's uh <laughs> it is going to topple. I need to take care of it. But um so I think I think Space Biff is now about sports betting. Like that's <laughs> no. and, and game guides. That's what it's gonna be about from now on. So sounds great. Uh looking forward to it and looking forward to the reaction. You Julie, do the people take what you say during uh April's Fool like at face value? Do you have a lot of people confused or what what's sometimes. The yeah, yeah, sometimes. And um so I hope they I hope we get a few people who are surprised. But you know what? At this point, I'm happy. Like last year I wrote about AI and how I was going to be using AI to write my articles from then on. And some people actually were very kind and they thought it was like a good statement on AI. So I'm hoping even if you are in on the joke that at least it can be a useful statement on kind of the state of things. So we'll see. Good. Great. And you, Matilda, what's up? Uh, I'm fixing teeth mostly and uh, trying to set up like a proper storefront that will eat up less of my, less of the time in my life um, than the one I have currently. How many, um, how many games of backspinning have been shipped since uh, we had you on the stream last time? I don't know since last time, but right now there's like some 230 in total uh, shipped out. Uh, well, and that has been standing still for like a little bit now, just because like we want to get this like store working because it takes too much work. And it's the current yeah. version with the Google Google Sheets takes, or Google Forms, it takes too much time because it creates too much work for me in the background. And did you or started hearing back from from players? Did you get some feedback on the on the game so far already? Um, I've had a, a few order. Uh, wait, what, sorry, I've got distracted. Can you repeat that question? I'm <laughs> off my meds. <laughs> Don't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah, the reception. The reception has been like overall pretty great to pack spending. Uh, like just I just idly looking at the score so scores on like board game geek uh mostly like seven eight nines tens and stuff and that's, that's fun to see um it's glad to see that so far i haven't seen anyone doing like uh, chat threads about like how can it be a pax game if it has doesn't have cards or whatever not yet you did have the uh classic thread of does it solo which is i thought yeah, it was yeah, gonna yeah. come so and it did i was like yeah yeah like solo. you, you <laughs> made it matilda <laughs> someone is asking for a solo game about a game that is definitely not a game for yeah solo, I, I, don't, I, I mean i'm not a particularly good solo designer or a two-player designer that is not where my strengths lie Turn codes, uh, I'm, and I'm not saying, saying this because no one watches your stream thread. Uh, turn codes two player game exists mostly as an accident. <laughs> like the rules happen to work at two player, and it creates a, a game that is a completely different game from three to five, despite having like the same rules. And sure, I'll throw a two on the box, but like it's not, that's not really what it's designed to do. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And we have, and, so, uh, and then with Pax Pending, I, I did feel didn't feel like the rules like actually worked that well as two players. I mean, didn't really try that much because again, it's not the kind of games that I'm really interested in designing. I like the multilateral conflict. I did. And we we have a question here from Limwell, the classic question that you always ah, yes. get how, each how time, time I have a video. When is the game coming to my door? Which when I, is I the game? Your, to your door specifically. Um, so yeah. So I don't know if you have any uh, any like updates on when's the next batch of um, that you're gonna send. Here's the thing: we have my family has been like working hard because they've been helping out a ton with production. So we have like two three hundred games that are done at home. <laughs> so like. Um, uh, there are the games exist, so wow. like we just need to make sure that the uh, storefront uh, actually works, and then after that, we should hopefully be able to get a lot of games out very quickly. 
Okay, so just a bit of uh, just a, a bit of patience for for people out there. It's coming soon. Yeah, uh, if we actually started doing like the first test with the with the store, uh, like today. So we'll see if if that works out. Then very soon we can hopefully like uh, have the games in people's at people's doors. Great. Uh, and I guess that a lot of people are uh, looking forward to it. But I think we can uh, go back. And Lemuel is saying that he will be patient. Uh, good, good Thank luck with that. Patience. I know it can be. Uh, it can Thank be you for your patience. <laughs> yes. I'm a, it's a small team, and I'm bad at my job. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So we're back into the game. So maybe for a bit of context, uh, we had two things. Uh, happening out of the three. Uh, so we are two thirds of the game uh, on the way. It's now Matilda's turn. Uh, the economy is a mess. There is almost no stone in Sigtuna. Uh, and as you can see, you are not able to see because you're not watching the stream, but the viewers can see that I have a complete control over my house. Absolutely have no problems with uh, a particular house influencing me aggressively, it's completely fine. But then again, does it matter? I'm not going to win anyway, so it's it's completely okay. Um, maybe you can get a coalition going. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Who who knows? Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the state of the of the game. Uh, so we are not going to explain too much the rules. If you want to see that, you can look at part one where Matilda gives an overview of the game and how yeah. it works. And I think we'll focus on just playing our turns and explaining a bit what we do. Uh, I think it's, yeah. that said, I think it's fair to do a run over of the victory conditions. Because yeah. I, I don't, I'm not sure I explained those thoroughly enough last, I, last time. And I think they bear a bit of repeating. I think we, we brushed over it because we knew that it was not going to come probably during this stream. So I think it might be a good thing to, to talk about this now before we start yeah. playing. So as I talked about a bit before, uh, each game of Pax Penning is comprised of like two to three rounds, like especially two, especially like three rounds, but sometimes it ends a bit earlier. The round ends and this game will end when this king has walked the entire way around, like all, across all the coins and reaches back to seek tuna. That's when the game will end. What will happen then is that we'll look at We'll have a vote as normally and see if there is a Thane victory, or if the, the king wins and the players with the most pennings becomes his Thanes and wins. So in this scenario, like if if together we can one of us can roll more than the amount of like dice on roads, uh, then uh, that player will win. Uh, using and if there are multiple players with the same amount of coins of pennings which are the like coins with the king's face on them, then the players with the best hierarchy win. Uh, however, if that fails, like the king doesn't succeed in his nation building effort and this final check fails, then the player at the top of the hierarchy will win. Mm. And, that is, and then as a final twist, this is a game where you can steal victory from each other. Uh, if you win and you're and another player has uh, like more stones than anyone else in your house then uh, they steal the victory they steal your victory this then someone can else can then steal their victory from them and so on and so on and uh, there's also some coalition stuff which can come up but i don't think any of us are waiting for such a thing <laughs> We'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, but yeah, uh, and I guess we'll also go back to the victory conditions when we'll be actually resolving uh, at the end of the game. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I guess let's jump into into it. So, Matilda, before we finish last time, I think you rolled a six and a one on your turn. Yeah, these are little dice. I presume that's the little dice that are lying here, which yeah. makes sense. Okay. Well, what, what Matilda is thinking, uh, yeah, I, need to speak, yeah. I, I mean, I need to speak to you then. Um, uh oh. Would you consider? Uh, you already have quite a sizable presence in my house, and I think that an extra an extra one wouldn't hurt. Uh, so I was wondering if uh, you would let me take one of your stone to roll more, 
And if you do, I will do my best um, to have more of your stones going back to Sigtuna. Uh, can I do my turn? Yeah, yeah, go uh -huh. ahead. So it's, it's, it's just uh, something that I'm uh, that I'm so now. Dan can think about it while you take your turn. First action, I'm gonna take the king action for one, placing myself on uh, Dan's penning. This is a mean thing because it means he can't use it. Uh, and so in return, I'm gonna give him like a little runestone over here. <laughs> Ooh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, and then for my second, I think I'm just gonna use the knight on the six and remove this die. Yeah. Makes sense. And that's my turn. <sighs> so then did you consider my proposal? Yeah, you can take one of mine, that's fine. Okay, that's so kind. Uh, I don't know how to thank you. Uh, so I am um, in the kindness business. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Uh, so that's uh, two uh, dice for me. And just to be sure, uh, Matilda, you're not giving me one of your stones, right? I believe that's a no. Uh, that is a no. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> just wanted to be sure, you know? It's, uh, you're never too sure. <laughs> uh okay so rolling is f is it f yeah i think so yes oh, wait, doesn't it... okay and i rolled a four and a two uh okay so i have three face up uh but that doesn't help mm. i think i'm going to un deux trois oh, fait chier. un deux trois yeah, uh, I'm going to use the four on the pawn, and I'm going to make everyone happy because I'm that kind of guy. Uh, you don't have any choice. <laughs> one, two. No, I'm doing it because I'm I'm kind, uh, and that means that all of us can uh, place stones uh, back in Sig Uh Well, all of us, uh, hmm. not David. Uh, so that's that, and then <laughs> with the two, uh, with this one actually places a roadblock, right? Yes, it does. So it places that two as a roadblock. Yeah. And I'm going to. Hmm. Well, well, well. I'm going to make sure that there is no funny business happening here, and I'm going to put the two here. Uh, and I gave you some treats for your feast. That's true. I'm going to actually put it here. I think that's probably uh, for the best. Uh, that's, uh, no, that's... I don't think it is. You're fucking <laughs> Dan. <laughs> I think you're that's talking, You're fucking Dan. Uh, yeah. Have you, have you no, considered that's... that? Actually, that's, that's mean to both of you. So I think it's probably for the best. <laughs> so that's the, uh, so that's Why the... alienate one of us? Yeah, when no. I can alienate two. I, I'm now, my actually, my whole game plan is to be as mean as possible. Uh, and uh, this is me, and this goes back into the dice pool. Great. Okay. I just remove that die. <laughs> um, I actually, I think I'm just rolling two dice. Um, yeah. Um, I am not touching Sig Tuna this time. Oh, and I just want to say that someone on, on BGG actually made a table uh, in reply to uh, the first video that gives us the odds of rolling a pair for, oh, one no of the, for the number of dice. Uh, so if you go on uh, BGG right now and um, so you check pack spinning and you look at the videos and you find the videos that I uh, posted for uh, last time, you have actually a table in the comments. Which Wonderful. I'm going to open right now because it gives you uh, the, and it also gives you the information on the number of pairs because you might roll one or two pairs and the odds of that depending on the number of dice you roll, which is pretty neat. Uh, well, thank so thank you to Merrick Brown who this is the math for Dan. Wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was specifically made for you, which is. Uh, which is good, and and Tim is actually right. Uh, there is a good argument to say that uh, that odds are actually forbidden knowledge, but uh, we'll see. I have it in front of me. 
It's the about 50 50 to no, to roll a pair if you got three dice, and that's all the odds I know I need. Yeah. <laughs> That's good enough. And you start having a chance of rolling two pairs, uh, obviously, when you have four dice, but it becomes decent at six dice. Six dice, you have two more than 50% chance of rolling two pairs. But six dice at this stage of the game is unlikely. All right. Because all of us are poor. So I think I'm doing a pawn action. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move one, two, two, three, four... Come on, David, move it towards me. I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, no. <laughs> I put up one of your stones. Uh, so that's going to be. I put up one of your stones. Yeah, David. will you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, not obviously not this turn, but I'll do it. Okay. Uh, All right. I'll you don't have. No, no, no. You don't have to. If you don't do it, I will put one of your stones. <laughs> <laughs> and I think have the difference one, between one now is better than one maybe later. I, so I'm gonna go on a hunch. Go on the other side, and I will put one of your stones in Sigtuna. I, I'm gonna go on a hunch, David, <laughs> and say that uh, Fred's placing your stones because he wants to get rid of them. No, I I don't. I, I, I yeah, I'm, I'm placing, placing your stones. I want to I want to support. I don't have that much. I don't have that many, many, but I think Fred does. Yeah, I, I don't so have that many. I think I'm actually going to keep the pawn. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep the pawn <laughs> where it is over here. How dare you, David? Um, so what what did I do? Okay, so I'm putting out two things. So I'm going to do this over here. And out of kindness, David, I would still put one of yours, uh, but just to show you <laughs> how serious I am about our friendship right now. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, Use my road. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, did I think everybody everybody put things out? So, um, and then I'm going to come over here, um, and let's move the king one space. No. Oh yes, I like this. This is good. Um, uh, and then that also stone. means I get to put out another stone, hmm. which this is interesting. Here, you know what, Fred? I'll give you this one here. Oh, no, no, no. You I know. It's, it's a board. rune stone. Yeah, oh, it's a rune stone. That's right. I'm sorry. Um, no, that's fine. You can put one of my rune stone at the, you know, the, at the bottom left, um, just next to that pawn over there. I think that would be awesome. <sighs> In in exchange for my goodwill of putting one of your stone in six tuna. <laughs> Doesn't seem convinced, oh, David. Plop that over there. Uh that seems fine. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem fine. Um okay, I think that is going to be yeah, I think that is. Do you use what? this one, right? Yeah, I did use that one. Yep. So yeah. gotta do. What a up. bad turn! What a bad turn! What do you got? You got a rinse and Fred. What do you get? What do you have to go pay? Yeah, but it's blocked. Someone put a. a yeah, who did that? Yes, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, like, who did that? I don't understand what happened here. Uh, some, someone who needs to get rid of there? <laughs> Who put that lock there? Someone needs to get rid of these bandits. <laughs> they are out of control. <laughs> who put that? Who put them there, Fred? <laughs> so Dan, Dan, Dan. With your so. small one silver. Only one silver. Hey, Fred. I let you take one of mine. Can I take two of yours? N not two of mine. You can take one of mine. I, I think you probably want me to take two of yours, though. <laughs> Do I right? want to take two of yours? Well, if, you, if, 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 you you take two, if you take two of mine, will you take? let me take one of yours? Yes. Um, okay. Then yeah, you want one, one of mine? Yeah. Yes. Oh, he's going for the odds. He looked at the odds table. He's going crazy. He's Some, going someone helps the, me with these odds. Yeah, he's going for the seven person chances of a double pair, uh, which is bold, and I love it. So, so right now I'm at four. So I'm actually going to return both of my stones. Mm. Don't worry, there will be more, Fred. <laughs> what the what? What the fuck? What is happening here? There will be more. What? Wow. Okay, let me look at the odds table. 
that somebody oh, has six, helpfully provided. Because six I'm is fifty-five percent chance to have two pairs. Okay. And I don't, and, and you hundred percent chance of having one pair, I think. Oh, that's kind of cute actually, because it's about fifty percent to have a to have one pair when you have three dice, and it's about fifty percent to have it when two pairs with six dice. So that's actually surprisingly nice odds. That's almost we'll upset, upsetting at one. And you actually have you actually have five percent chance of of having three pairs, but you defy the odds by having the shittiest to... roll ever. I have <laughs> the, the worst possible roll of all time. Okay. I mean, you could have gotten one, two, three, four, five, six. You could have gotten a ladder. And uh, Louis, uh, if you can give me wave or MP3, that would be perfect. Oh, dear. Sorry, that's a small... It's our it's own not... uh, April 1st project that I'm working on with Louis. Mm -hmm. We're going to get cancelled tomorrow. Uh, also, so to the person who made the uh, odds table, if you would like to put that on Board Game Geek, that would be very much appreciated. Oh, Dad is making plays. There we go. So I, I think the king is a handsome fellow. Mm. So handsome. Do you have a three or four right now, Dan? Do I have a three or four? Three or four pennies. I have three. He has three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The king is blocking silver. Someone okay. rude did that. Oh, said, sent the king to eat my cabbages. All right. So I need to give one of these away, right? Yes. I have. Uh, I I've been leaving them in a clutter, so I don't know who. Uh, but I here, Fred. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to give you this. Oh, that's very kind. Uh, because you and, were giving and, them away, and I know that was a sacrifice. Yeah, that's. that's I'm really happy that you're doing this. I was missing a few. <laughs> I was like, that's that's. You know what I'm missing is is exactly this right now. It's I knew good it. that you're. It's good that you're not watching the stream and not looking at what I have in my house already, which is which is very kind of you. Dan. Yeah, I don't know what anyone has. Yeah. So I'm going to. I I will spend my four up here to have a night to remove. Yes. This this one. Thank God, wow. finally, someone is doing things. Are you going to do this um, at Palm 6, then? Yeah. Because I believe uh, in the roots of the PAX series uh, is free trade and libertarianism. So I'm going to do <laughs> as is, much indeed. free... Yeah, exactly. So we're going to be going um, one... Let's see if I can get everyone. I can't. Oh, I'm no, you can't. To... You have to ignore, like, you have to take the quick road if you want to go directly to seek to. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I wanted to help Fred, too. So no, you, go... you don't have to. One, two, <laughs> three. Okay, so there we go. We did it. We did it, I team. Hate so much. I hate you so much. Oh my god. <laughs> well, actually, you're gonna place two stones. I'm gonna be able to use them. So that's that's so I'm putting out one of my stones for you, Fred. No, you said two stones. You said two stones. I can get two you, stones. I think you me. said one. Exactly. No, what's a little market forces between friends? You are so correct. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought it was one. I'm I'm gonna put this back up here, so hopefully somebody will oh no, I'll put it here. So uh if I put out another, then I then I'll then I'll do that. Okay, and that was uh, my, oh my goodness, I'm so upset about my feast. Actually, I promised I would put up on a David Stone, so I think I'll do that. Thank you. Oh my god. Okay, well. that was my bad turn. Hmm? Yeah, sorry, I'll move, I'll move some of these dice back hmm? to the pool. I think I'll need to use those three, actually, so... Spend two of my own from Sigtuna. Mm. Mm. And then I guess we'll... I guess we'll probably... Or, or Dan, do you feel like... Dan or David, do you feel like giving me something? I'm oh, well, so sorry. Dan I, is so pissed off that he actually... Yes, Dan it. absolutely doesn't want to give oh, you anything. Yeah. Um, I, I think I'm I unfortunately I think I have to hold out. Mm. I don't think oh. I have anything available for you that, this time. That's that's sad. Oh. And then he's back. So maybe uh maybe Sorry. he will be inclined. 
I got it. I got it. Okay. Got a pair. Uh oh. Um, let's say we give a little stone to uh, to Fred. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Fred. Thank you very much. And then we'll, I think I'll pop up in the hierarchy a little bit. Yeah, rude. That sounds about right. Uh, and then I'll use this, uh, I'll use this four on a pawn, just move this one into Seek Tuna. Put two of my own stones in Sigtuna. Oh, that's right. When I moved into Sigtuna, I should have put out an extra stone, right? That is correct. Yeah. It could be okay. so here, here, a second one that right. I can use. Yeah, there you go, Fred. Thank then you it, it shall go back to this starting star. And then for my second action, I think I shall use, use a six bishop. No! Whoa! No, don't do it! Don't do it! Uh, no! Fred? No! <laughs> no! Do you wish to get married? No, I do not. <laughs> I will marry on my own terms. <laughs> oh, God. I hate you. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, let me clean up all of this. <laughs> Oh my god. And that ends my turn. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how bad it all is uh, right now. So it may be quite terrible. It's probably pretty bad. It is pretty bad, yeah. It is indeed. Uh, I'm just wondering how many players have more tokens than I do. Uh, I think it's almost all of you now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Uh, Okay, uh, great. Uh, so Dan, I can take your two stewards, right? Yeah, that's not a problem at all. That's actually kind of perfect. Uh, oh, then you can't, <laughs> that's too late. Oh, uh, so that's okay. that's that's three. Uh, this is three. Four. This is not a very moving king, I gotta say. I've right. got the best cabbages. Yeah, that's true. And I have a pair. Oh. Cool. Uh, and I think I'm gonna move. Uh, looking up. I'm going to be kind. Fred, you probably want to move me up. Uh, I know you can't actually... see. That's a really I, good point. <laughs> be, because I know you don't can't see behind mine the way we can't see behind yours, but um, you have. And a, I think you're making a great chance. You have a lot of penning, so like. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's fine. I think I will do this. All right. Uh, and uh, and then I'm gonna place a stone, and I'm gonna because I really want to show David that we can work together. Um, yes, I'm gonna, show me. I'm going to put uh, a stone just here for you. Uh, yeah. uh, here's an important part of victory that I forgot to mention. Uh, in case that the king fails, all the players with the most pennings are disqualified from victory, at least through like a, from the jar's victory. So in this scenario, if the king was to fail, um, David would win because all of us have three pennings. One, two, three, That's right. four, five. So you're in contention for victory, David. <laughs> <I've>, look. <laughs> Did you do a king Sleeper. action, Fred? Sleeper I haven't. I haven't yet. Winner. Did you uh, just put out a rune stone? I did put out a rune stone, and it why, was. Wh why was that? Oh, because I flipped something. But, oh, wait a minute. You rolled yeah. a pair, right? So you yeah. need to give one to another player, not make Oh, uh, yeah. Rune. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Uh, I'm going to do. Uh, this instead. Okay. So that's what I do. Uh, I'm thinking about moving the king, actually. Uh, and, or will I? Yeah, I will move the king. Um, I will move the king once. <laughs> if we move here. What friends we are. Uh, and, then, and then I'm going to put this one We marry Tear. 
Yes. Uh, but then I, I give you some more like resources. You know, it's a uh, pretty useful uh, kind of. And then I'm going to do here, right? Thank you. Six, uh, and I'm going to do one, two, three, uh, four, five, and six. Wow. And here you go, David. I'm putting more resources uh, onto Sigtuna. So that's. Mm -hmm. I hope you like this. I love that, actually. Uh, that's good. Good. Um, good to know. Because I'm gonna take. I think two of those. Matilda can put one out as well, right? I did. You did? Okay. Sorry, I'm zoned out, I guess. Um, I'm taking two of those so that I can... No, that's four dice. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, really, really hoping for a pair here. Let's yeah, see. Let's consult the table. Oh, well, apparently there was what some odds that, that you could not do it. And you... Uh, yeah. So... Um, with that <laughs> oh wait a minute wait a minute i forgot to do something at the end of my turn actually everything should have dropped down by once. ah thank you that might have an impact gives you uh, um hmm i think I'm going to use this two on the king. Nice. Do one, two. Great move. Um, I thought we were friends. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and then can I do anything interesting with a pawn? I remember to place the stone. Carve on the... a rune stone. Yeah, carve oh, a rune yes. stone. Oh, yeah. yes. Thank you. Um. Dan, would you like a rune stone? I, you I don't would. have to ask for, for, for consent. You can just. No, I, I know. I, I know. I'm just, you know, I'm trying to. I feel like there have been a few moments where I've unintentionally thrown Dan under the. Oh, under, but he likes under it. Under the long ship. So. I do like. Yeah. I was actually going to say, please do build a rune stone, but build it somewhere useless, like right in, like right up where one of these bandits is or something. Yeah. Or you could build it in front of the pond, but it would be even cooler if you built it by a bandit. Why is that? Why do you want it up there? I'm just because you know you you like to push me under the dung cart and you know. <laughs> no, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure out this rift that we've had. I'm gonna you know it. yeah because building a right community there. yeah community building is about learning to live with the people that you hate right it's a, and so it's, it's about linking and building and, <laughs> yeah. And, and we are going to build a community, you and yeah. I. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going for. Um, okay, so that happened, and then um, I'm also going to do, I think I'm going to do a pawn action. Let's do, let's move this pawn over here, and I'm just going to toss this one into Sigtuna, which means... Stone. Stone. Do this one here. And then I'm going to return you back to the top. Uh, and then we'll do some cleanup. These go back to here. And we're all moving down. OK. All right, so I have one. Does anybody want to give me anything? Maybe? Huh? I'll give you one. I'll give you oh. one. Okay. And I want to, for the record then, if I had one, I would have given you one. Thank you, Fred. Yeah. Which is like definitely a binding statement. Yeah, exactly. That, yeah, absolutely it is. <laughs> yeah. I, that's I'll take the rules immediately. <laughs> um, now, Matilda, you, you might want to give me three. <laughs> you might. I mean, that's, you that's, might. A, that's a bold no. statement. I gotta say. Um, I think I'll pass on that one. Actually. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Just maybe one. 
I think I'm gonna pass on that one actually. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> so maybe maybe two then. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Oh yeah. Counter offer two of them. No. 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 Okay. Well. Oh. Uh -huh. Look what I rolled. Oh, Why did I set the I'm pass? so upset about that. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? In, the odds yeah, are one in six. And Quick, everyone odds? to yeah. the to the table. Well, this says 100. percent Oh, I was looking at zero dice and one yes. die. Oh well. Okay. Well, well, well. That How the turntables, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna put out one of mine out here. No, I I need to give one. You give That's right. one. I give one. Who to whom shall I gift? this gift everyone is very silent like well i'm not gonna i won't give a gift um i'm not gonna be mean so i'm not gonna give anything to david thank you see this is the this is the value community of, of community yeah. <laughs> But I will give one of uh, someone a certain someone stones to somebody else. So, but it's a secret. Thanks. Wow. So okay. <laughs> and why I'm a little salty. Are you really gonna kick? Now, you're really gonna kick down the king? No, move the king up. I think I might. I'll yeah. just do that. Yeah, I'll just do this because I Whoa. am upset at. Um, Someone taking my place in the local mm. politics. All right. And then I got a pair of amazing dice. Mm. Just the best. Uh, how about I bishop? <coughs> no, not bishop. Please. Let me bishop. <laughs> bro, let me bishop. I want to compare it, bro. Okay. Oh my god. So oh I my god. That so give a gift to Matilda. <laughs> then stop. <laughs> I... <laughs> you and I shall have a community too, whether you like it or not. I don't like it. <laughs> no, it's nice. <laughs> I don't know if there's. Uh, I guess I'll do a pawn action. Kind of, kind of bad. It's kind of, yeah. It's pretty boring. Okay. This. So I'm pawning, and I'm just doing the basic pawn. So there. So I get to put out a thing. And I think everyone who uh, I'll just put out one of mine, just for the funsies. All right. That was my surprising turn. What a surprising turn events. Wow. Okay, for mine, I'm going to use all, all three mm -hmm. on my own. And give him a good old roll. Oh my god. Well, wow. And two, three, four, five, six. And two, three, four, five. Nope. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna use a five on the king. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> um, meaning that uh, so move in one, two, three, four, five. Um, and then I'll place out a rune stone, I guess. Uh, I think we're pretty busy on the runestone. Like we've placed quite a few of them. <laughs> like there is no. Yeah, I think I think we I think we can place more of them. Yeah, I think there's always room for more. I bet some future there game go, designer David. will use these runes to make a board game. Yeah, <laughs> potentially. Potentially. Okay, so that's the king dealt with. 
And then I might as well use this knight six to remove this old thing. Yeah, and that's that. Okay, so I roll one die. Um, Dan. Dan, What's Dan, Dan. Good old Dan. My friend Dan. Uh, will you give I, me one of your stones? I like to think of this as Fred, but no. No, you wouldn't? I, you I'm sorry. Sure? I think it would I think it would be really illustrative for your viewership to see what happens when someone only rolls one die. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's I'm, for, so that's I'm thinking for of your show. Well, that's for educational purposes. What are my odds of rolling a pair with yeah, this will be good content. Here, yeah. let me check the table. Yeah, check the table, please, before I roll. <laughs> this uh, can't be right. It says 100 percent for zero pairs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I understand that math. Uh, okay. That's good. Uh, but can I get a can I use this in a way? Hmm. I could do something awful. Uh, but what? Could you really do something awful? No, no. Well, I could put put a six roadblock uh, on the board, which would be pretty bad. Mm. Um, I think I might just do that. I'm gonna place it just here and remove. I'll just this. remove that one. Yeah, uh, and I think What's that's it. I can do only a single action, which is not great. Mm -hmm. uh, and here we go. Oh, yikes. Okay. Um, so I am going to roll two, and then I'm going to grab that stone. Let's try this one more time. I'm pulling for you. Oh, there we go. Look no. at that. That's an awful roll. Um, Perfect. So this is interesting. I'm proud of you, David. Thank you. <laughs> um, That's actually pretty bad. Because right now, I kind of don't want the king to be at the top of the hierarchy. Don't you? Surprising. Put me at the top of the hierarchy, then. Well, that's what I'm sort of thinking about. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> Um, you should probably just move up and hope for the best. <laughs> I could do that, or I could just like flip one of my coins. Because I, I don't think that's gonna get you anywhere. You could flip someone else's uh, coin. Here's the thing. Um, yeah, you could flip like someone if, else's if coin. If the king fails as of right now, uh, all three of us will be excluded from like right. the hierarchy. Right. It, 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 all, all of us have the same amount of pennings. And just right. to, well, be, to be just to be clear, does it exclude us from winning the game by stealing a victory? Or it does not. It does, it does not. not. It just okay. re just removes us from like the contention of being the jarred. Okay. So, however, the penning being like on top of the hierarchy does guarantee a like a king slash thane victory. So, it may actually be in your best interest to not have the. I don't know what the situation in your house is, is like that hmm. may affect things, but I think it may actually be in your best situation to best interest to like not have the pending at top because that guarantees a <clears throat> yeah a king victory. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I think we're you're being tricked right now, David. What you want to do is keep it here and flip my coin. <laughs> you might. I mean, there I'm is something to be it. said for flipping someone else's coin, right? And kind of yeah. forcing yeah. them into the into bed with you. Yeah. Um. In a good way. Oh, in a good way. Yeah. Um. Not in. You don't a, force people into bed like no in pressure way. kind of way. <laughs> right. I think flipping my coin and would be a potentially a great idea. Which one of them? <laughs> yeah, which uh, the the one that matters. The, yeah, that one there. Do you want me to? Here's the funny that? thing: all of them matters. Yeah, you know what? I think what I'm gonna do 
Let's let's no, do- David. Don't oh, let's do it. Let's do it now. Let's do it. And for the record, at forty nine fifty four, this is where David gave the game to Matilda. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. I mean, I probably just did. gonna say it. I probably did. I, I'm gonna time code it, and, and it's gonna be that moment, David. That moment. That's probably true. Mm-hmm. That's gonna have a chapter mark on YouTube. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on one of my runes too. <laughs> I'm gonna say at that time, David actually screwed all of us up. At, at nine, at one thousand thirty six, David yes. gave them. So the, I'm gonna uh, do that, and then I'm also gonna. Don't throw... sentence gave the game to Carl at Erebosa. Okay, and he um, gave a. A surreptitious gift. Yeah, and Mm. then I gave Matilda a gift for doing that. Mm -hmm. Um, And now let's move some things. I think the big question is, wait. Yeah, do you want to king? That is the big question. Four, five, six. I mean, that's kind of interesting, right? I I think I maybe do. (laughs) Oh, my God, it's not going well. <laughs> oh, now you're gonna get tricked into into king into oh god yeah you know what let's go let's go we're doing oh, we're doing god. um that's spicy one two three four five six yeah so we're doing this pawn here with the six one two three four Five, six. Good. David Good gets two stones. I think Dan and uh, Fred get one each. Yep. Oh, that's one of mine. And I then... get one. You didn't pass me, did you? Uh, yes, no. I, did. I did. No, no, no. no. I did, I did yeah. not. No, you no. did not. No, I just two for David and one for me. Okay. And then let's do a. But because I like King Dan, five, I put one, one of his. Three, four, five. Thanks, Fred. I got you. I got you. Me. <laughs> you <and> me. <laughs> it's us. Yes, exactly. All right. We're gonna we're gonna see how that goes. Probably not well for me, but we'll I think we're probably great. I think it's going well. Uh Dan, Dan, Dan. Do you want the game to end, Dan? I kind of do, um, but I need to roll. And mm-hmm. here's the thing. So I have one, and um, I'm going to use both. Of, I'm going to take both of mine. But you want one of mine? I do want one of yours, Matilda. But can you have it? Is the question. I, I actually think... no. I actually no. I That's so cruel. It's oh. like it's, it's it's rough. It's like, I... do you want one well, of? What are you well, planning to maybe... do with them? What are you planning to do with that card? I'm planning on making you win. Are you now? Oh, Uh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, the bishop is in reach. (laughs) How about David? David, David, David. Can I take yours? You and Uh, I. Community. Community. Right. So are you going to make me win? Well, how about this? I will make yeah. you a solemn promise. Sure. Oh, solemn. That must okay. be good. I will swear. Yeah. It's Easter. I will oh, swear yeah. on this. It's Easter. He had the he had the cross ready for it. It's true. It's Easter. Gonna... <laughs> I'm Christ. I'm Christianizing right now. Right. Because it's Easter. Yeah. I don't know what right. to do with it, but yeah, it solemn promise. Cool. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that if I get a pair, uh-huh. I will give um, one of. I, if you give me your stone, uh-huh. I will give it uh-huh. to Matilda. Solemn promise. Let's go. Let's go. That's good enough for me. Okay. Also, uh, important important rule here: you break ties in your own house. Okay. Well, let's make sure there's no tie there. Mm. Two pairs. Two pairs. Two pairs. Two pairs. No pairs. pairs. <laughs> <laughs> Great. No I'm done. Oh, this is, this has been this has been fun. <laughs> this is the worst community. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Your party is, sorry that your party is in its flop era. <laughs> My party. I, I I talked a big game. But yeah. you know what? Someone ate all the cabbages. <laughs> well, 
This is bad. Well, now I kind of don't want to end the game. Um, <laughs> oh, it's a good I thing guess, I, I think, threw that stone think, in the trash. I think you should let the, me decide how the game ends. I think that's a great thing. Well, decision. I don't want you to decide either. Uh, <laughs> oh dear! Oh no! Oh no! no I, I, actually, I think you're on the right track. You should let me decide. I'll be back in a second. I oh dear, this is not good. Um, hmm. This is very bad. Well, I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Well, let's do this. Let's move the king into Sigtuna, just because I want to block Matilda from doing whatever horrible thing she was going to do. And um, <laughs> This is bad. So, after but this, Matil the game will end. I will carve a rune stone in your honor. <laughs> Good. Wow. In, in wow, Matilda's thanks. honor. There we go. Good. It's, just, it's beautiful. And then I am... Um, oh, no. Let's see. So I, I can get the bishop. Oh, yeah. You could get the bishop. With a and... six. Okay. Oh, someone is going to get influenced. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I don't know if it'll matter because I'm not, uh, I can't calculate the future. There we go. All right. All right. Uh, game end. Yeah. Community. So we hold the last final thing. Yeah. If we vote on like if you want the king or win to win or not. Um, Does it start with me? It starts with me because I'm on top of the hierarchy. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to pass on that one actually. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna. I'm voting for the king. Uh, Dan, it's in Dan. You want to vote be for the king? I'm voting for the king. Okay. So do I roll? Uh, uh, David, you want to be for the king? I don't want to be for the king. I think you want to. Uh, maybe you do. Uh, do no, I? You don't. No, you don't. You probably don't. I don't think I do. Fred, do you, you sound like you wanted to be for the king. Yeah, yeah, I'm for the king. Okay, does that mean Fred and I are rolling? Yeah. Fred and you are rolling. If you can get a five or a six, the king is one. That's a five. And a, oh. Oh, I rolled a, I rolled a one. Okay. All right. So the game ends in a, a successful nation building, uh, which is not the historical result. Which is the best um, result. Yeah. And uh, so the player with the most, uh, three of us have the most pennings, and I am at the top of the hierarchy, meaning that I win, but we shall have a peek behind my house and see what's up behind there. Um, behind my house, it looks like this. Dan has the majority in wow. my house. By one stone. Yes. yes. But, but what's happening in Dan's house? This is what yeah. we want to know. Okay, let me show you what's happening in my house because it is a party back here. <laughs> I am not winning. I yeah, the designer is not winning. For now, Dan is winning. Yeah, Dan has hey, yes. stolen my victory. And actually, before I reveal my stones, mm. I I just want to savor this brief window when I am winning. Okay. <laughs> Dan yeah. is the winner right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now now I can lose. Here we go. Here's my stone. <laughs> Oh my god. That's where all my stones were. Oh, oh my god. I, <laughs> I so accidentally how, had a lot of your stones. How many are so do I win against Matilda? Let's yes, find you do. out. One, two, three, oh, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I won. But <laughs> <laughs> so cool. yeah, pause here for a minute and let's enjoy it. <laughs> but uh, let me show you what is in my house. I like how he's going to select them all and, yeah. and pull them out like we can't just you look can, at the... You can see them. Uh, and so that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six for Dan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the host of the channel has not won. And no, uh, the host of the channel hasn't won. Now the question um, is, who has control? What does it look like in David's house? Do you want to do you want to see do you want to see what's going on in my house? We, want, we need to see what's going on in your house. Yeah, well, um, it's going to be real easy for I can just like make a lot of clicking sounds behind here, so you can like <laughs> think I'm doing something. But this is what's in my house. <laughs> no. Power move. One power move. <laughs> So the graphic designer wins. Yeah. Suspicious. Suspicious. <laughs> oh, it went oh. all across the. So my hope was to actually go for a tie between David and Dan. I was hopeful that I could break the tie in favor of Dan, so we could have a coalition victory. Yeah. But I didn't have time. I was very sad about it. I still have one stone from David. But yeah. Unbelievable. The, yeah. It's all very suspicious. Uh, I would agree. <laughs> oh, this was this was great. Quite an eventful well, last thing. Uh, yeah, someone is asking for a recount. Uh, well, I would say stop the count. Uh, well, David is saying stop the count. But uh, congrats, uh, David, for uh, for this amazing. Uh, what an amazing uh, ending! Like that a, was a, ridiculous. A, that's that's a three D chess win. Uh, and David was scheming for it all along, uh, which is uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. David was saying that he was actually yeah. not uh yeah. This is the first time I've won this game. <laughs> <laughs> and it had to be on stream while everyone is watching, as Dan yeah. said, a lot of people are watching right now. <laughs> there are dozens. <laughs> dozens. <laughs> well, at least a dozen. <laughs> yeah. But no, that was great. Uh that was awesome. Well, I would say congrats, David. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, congratulations, David. Wonderful. Yeah, Thank great you. job. Good Great fun checking right there at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> I didn't expect you to have only a single stone, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, that's a, that's a good move. But good. Uh, well, what can we say? Oh uh, my god, I should have given that stone to Dan. I should have let Dan yeah. have that stone. This well, is the power now is the time for regrets, exactly. uh, Matilda. Yeah. Yeah. I told you, Matilda. Because then we would be in a perfect coalition. Yeah. Oh well, mistakes were made. Yeah, they were indeed. But it was awesome. So very cool. Uh, so maybe Except one last David. question. Yeah, yeah. One last question for 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 you then before we end the stream. Pax or not Pax? Absolutely Pax. Yeah. And I would say I totally agree. Totally Pax. Uh, it's it's a it's a it's it's maybe the most Pax of the Pax games in a way. <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't contain any distractions such as cards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I have I have two. Or money. <laughs> Like for me, there are two criteria to be a PAX game. And one is thematic and the other is mechanical. And the thematic one is that you play as some sort of middle manager who's hoping to improve your position, right? And this game absolutely does that. Um, and uh, the, uh, the mechanical one is this entire notion of um, a sort of manipulable market because even the PAX games have different types of markets, so it doesn't have to be like a river-style market. Yeah. But this, the whole game is interacting with the market and trying to mess with it and prevent and other people from messing markets, with it. Even. Yeah. And so so I absolutely think this is a PAX game. Yeah. It was a very unusual economy, which makes it even more a PAX. Like it's, it's, it's fun when, when like the whole economical aspect is unusual. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. It's... I, I, it's awesome. I, I brought it to Aircon um, a couple of weeks ago, and people were when we were playing this were just like stopping and looking and saying, "What, what the fuck are you guys playing?" Like it was very confusing, <laughs> and and people were really excited about just a like it, it's a piece of cloth with a lot of colorful stones on it. But the excitement that it was creating around the table was so big that people were like, "What's happening here?" Like something <laughs> unusual is happening. But yeah, it was um, it was uh, it was very very cool, uh, and. Great work, David, on the on the screen top uh, module, uh, especially yeah. and the, the graphic the, design, honestly, and the graphic yeah. design. But but I think yeah. it works really well as a as a as a game for uh, to play online. So that's uh, so that that's that's really nice. It's very uh, a nice uh, change. Um, and I'm sorry, Eric, I, I lost the game. So, so I, I would support your encouragement, but I just lost. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's really <laughs> awesome. Good, but then, Dan, what should be our uh, next PAX game then in our... Uh, John Company. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it will not. 
that doesn't work. Uh, but I think we said Prax Transhumanity, and actually a viewer sent me a box of Prax Transhumanity for us to oh perfect to play it. Yeah. So I, that, yeah. That or Pax, Pax Viking to get like both of the like Viking. Yeah, we Pax could do Pax either Pax of those. Game. Like yeah. Pax Viking is is really good. Um, mm -hmm. It's surprisingly good. So as I've said, Pax Viking <laughs> is my second favorite Viking game. Um, and I won't say which one is the first one just uh, because we risk making somebody <laughs> feel too good about <laughs> about today's performance. No, but yeah, my this, favorite I Pax love this Viking game. game is also Inish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my favorite my favorite one is Inish. That's true. That is one of my top five favorite games of all time. Is Inish? Yeah, yeah, me um, too. Yeah, I, I think love it's Inish. Like Inish more. Yeah. Um, but no, this this is now my favorite Viking game. But I would love to do either of those. Have you done Pax Viking in the past? Yeah, I already done Pax Viking, and I had um, an oh, interview so we can't of do the, that, yeah. the designer. We can do it again. That would be completely fine uh, because it was a teach and play, and this would, one would not be a teach and play. It would be just uh, people being mean to each other. Uh, so that's um, that we can we could we, can... we could play with the Danish variant. Yeah, <laughs> we <could> do... <laughs> Danish. Oh, yeah, that doesn't sound good. Uh, have you have you heard of the Danish variant? I have not it's... heard of. It's uh, oh, yeah. it's my it's my sole official design credit, and I don't even think it's official. But the uh, so Ion did release a variant in their first little like bonus pack for Pax Viking, and it is the Danish variant, not the Danish variant, because it is my variant for how to play <laughs> Pax. So we could play that, and then you could hate the game. It could drop from second favorite Viking game to tenth or something behind we, Blood Rage. We have behind Blood Rage. Yeah, that would be perfect. <laughs> what does your variant introduce then? It's not. It's not all that exciting. What it is is when you so you play with the face down victory cards, and you only reveal them when you play events, um, which is already I think one of the variants in the base game. But what you do is you the way you seed them is you have one of each difficulty level. And when you reveal them, you go from most difficult to easiest. So it, what it is, is it's trying to reproduce like the senility variant from Pax Perferiana, where it gets easier to win the longer the game goes. Um, so that at, early on in the game, you're seeing those super hard victory conditions. And then later in the game, you're starting to flip the easier ones. Um, so it adds some interesting brinkmanship to the game, I think. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that could be really cool to have the Danish uh, variant for for Pax Viking and still have Pax Transhumanity. But um, I think for if I want to do Pax Viking, I would like to time it with the release of their kids version of Pax Viking. Oh yeah, yeah. So that could be uh, that could be nice. So we'll reach out to Iron Games and see when is this coming out. And in the meantime, we can if we don't if we don't if it's coming too far in the future, we can do Pax Transhumanity first and then go to uh, to Pax Viking again. Yeah, I would love to do Pax Transhumanity. There's yeah, so much too. to talk about there. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Yeah, that could be uh, quite interesting. <laughs> Uh, I also but, have like this vague feeling that Pax Viking is a game that kind of demands more people. I'm, I've only played it at three, and like it felt kind of em empty. Yeah, I think if like, you are uh, not four or five, it feels empty. Uh, hmm. But uh, as soon as you have more, you have a lot more interactions, and it's really exciting, and you feel the board a lot more. So it hmm. gives a lot of more options overall. So yeah, I think I, that's actually, uh, but yeah. I do love the board for like Pax Viking, though. I think it does like such an amazing job of just recontextualizing how to yeah. view a map of Europe. Yeah, I yeah. Think it's, it, I think it's great for that. Uh, but we can talk about it more once we play it. So I guess that Matilda, what I hear is that if we do Pax Viking, you want to be invited for. I could, the game. I could, I could be down. Yeah, it yes. was a lot of fun too. I haven't played it in like a long while, but I would definitely be down. Good. But that sounds great. But I'll keep you posted. Thanks again to all of you for being here for this two-part series. I have one question for you, Matilda, because I know that you, uh, living in Sweden, you can actually help me out on something. And I will offer you a trade. A, a, a trade. You don't have to reply now, but I will put it out there. Is it Tante Monta? It, it's, no, 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 it's not Tante Monta. I already took care of that. Uh, so if, if you can find me a copy of the game Svea Rike, uh, uh, the, the, the board game from 1990. I've been trying myself. Like it, apparently there is a quite it's quite easy to find secondhand in Sweden. If you can find me a copy of it, I will record a review of back spinning. Uh, I would say that. So okay, let me just check so think about it. You don't need to find a solution right now. I would say happy Easter to all of you. Thanks for everyone who was watching. It was uh, okay. There is wait. Is there like any specific box that you want right now? No, no specific box because I will have to uh, print out the English translation. So I just need any any box really. I don't okay. think there is big differences between the two editions. 
Okay, because I, I just Googled quickly and there's one for like 400 crowns, so. Yes, and that's for people <laughs> watching out uh, in, not in Europe, 400 crowns is not a lot of money. It's fine, it's, it's, wow. it's okay, it's not too bad. It could be worse. Uh, but yeah, happy Easter, everyone. Thanks for watching. It was a lot of fun to have the three of you on. I hope to have you again for Pax Viking yeah. and Pax France Humanity. Yeah, yeah you and me, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Community. And Check out on uh, check out on Twitter if you want to have updates on what we uh, when we're going to stream next stuff. Expect a bit of a break in terms of video because uh, I'm going to be moving uh, back to France, so that's going to be taking a bit of my time. Uh, Good luck, so, Fred. Yeah, thanks. No more live streams for for a few weeks, uh, and thanks everyone, and see you back soon. Bye bye. Bye.